Well, good morning again, everyone. It's Pastor John here, Napanee Baptist Church, and it's Friday, September the 17th. It's good to be with you again. I'm glad you could join me. And what we do here, it's very simple during these visits, is we just read the Word of God together. And we just have a short reading, and then I give some commentary, and then we pray together and we commit our day to the Lord. So I'm glad you could join me. If you can turn in your Bibles, we're doing a little series in the book of Psalms. We read a lot of Psalms during these times. So if you can turn in your Bibles to Psalm 107, another beautiful Psalm, Psalm 107 and verses 1 to 18. And that's what we're going to do. Or sorry, 15. 1 to 15. It says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story. Those He redeemed from the hand of the foe, those He gathered from the lands, from east and west, from north and south. Some wandered in desert wastelands, finding no way to a city where they could settle. Verse 5, they were hungry and thirsty, and their lives ebbed away. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way to a city where they could settle. Verse 8, let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Some sat in darkness, in utter darkness, prisoners suffering in iron chains because they rebelled against God's commands and despised the plans of the Most High. Verse 12, so he subjected them to bitter labor. They stumbled and there was no one to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he saved them from their distress. Verse 14, he brought them out of darkness, the utter darkness, and broke away their chains. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. And of course, there is a repetitive, uh, repetitive, uh, the word I'm looking for, uh, a repetition here where uh, there is this refrain uh, used different times um, as far as crying out to the Lord. And uh, verse 6, Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. And then over verse 13, Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. I like the way the psalmist gives this description in verse 4. Some wandered in desert wastelands, finding no way to a city where they could settle. They were hungry and thirsty, and their lives ebbed away. Then it comes to verse 6. Then they cried out to the Lord. And that is just such a reminder for us that no matter where we are, we could be in a wasteland mentally or emotionally or spiritually. We could be hungry and thirsty in the same way. No matter where we are, no matter where we're at, we can cry out to God. And it says, and He delivered them. The end of verse 6. He delivered them from their distress. And then what did He do? He led them by a straight way to a, a city or to a place where they could settle. So many people today are lost, they're wandering around, they're at loose ends, and in God, in Christ, we can be led to a place of stability and security, a safe city. That's the idea here, a safe place. And uh, that's such an encouragement for us because all of us find ourselves sometimes in a dark place. You know, this psalm talks about darkness. We find ourselves in a dark place often, and we're wandering around. We don't know where to go. And yet, 
we can always remember that we can cry out to God no matter where we're at. And He not only will rescue us and save us from our distress, deliver us from our distress, but He will lead us to a safe place. And uh, that's what this psalm really emphasizes. And then, well, then He says at the end, verse 14, he brought them out of darkness, the outer darkness, and broke away their chains. That's what Jesus Christ can do in our lives and in our hearts. He can set us free. He can break our chains no matter, no matter what we're struggling with, no matter what we're enslaved to, no matter what our bondage. Jesus can set us free. And then what is the natural response when that happens, when God delivers us and sets us free? Verse 15 says, Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unveiling, unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. And that's a, a refrain that is repeated as well uh, in this passage. So God bless you. May you be encouraged today. Keep looking up. Keep crying out to our God. And we just want to encourage each other along those lines. Have a great day and a great weekend. And please reach out to us, reach out to me if you would like to have a visit or you would like to make contact. Uh, I would love to spend some time with you. So uh, please remember that. And again, keep looking to our God and keep Keep praying, keep crying out to Him and keep being in His Word. And so let's just pray and commit our day to Him. Father in Heaven, once again we thank You for Your goodness. We thank You for Your grace. We thank You that You are a God who hears us and You are a God who delivers us in our distress. And then You are a God who leads us and shows us the way to go and takes us to a, to a safe place. We just want to thank you for that. I just want to thank you for this past week, how you have blessed us in many different ways. And our church family, uh, we just thank you for the way you're working in our congregation and in our church. We give you praise for that, Lord, and we pray that you'll continue to guide and direct in all things. We pray that you'll bring us together uh, rejoicing on Sunday, this Sunday, as we celebrate what we have in Jesus and as we uh, praise you and worship you and give thanks for the God that you are and for what you've done. So we just commit these, these things to you, Lord, and we just want to commit ourselves to you. Be with each person, no matter where they're at, no matter what place they find themselves in today. I pray that you would be their portion, that you would be their encouragement, that you would fill them up to overflowing and give them this thanksgiving that we've been talking about. So Lord, we praise your name and we give you praise and we pray this in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. God bless. Have a great day. Hopefully we'll see you on Sunday at church and then uh, with this visit with the pastor on Monday morning. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.